Um, also in the settings tab, um, there's, there's four tabs. The interface is um, simple things about how the welder looks. Um, you can adjust the screen brightness here, um, depending on how bright you want it to be. You can adjust your volume, your microscope light. Um, there is a language button here. You can touch this, and there's different languages that you can put the welder in. Um, just simply hit, hit the language you want and hit OK. Um, and you can calibrate the touch screen. So you will touch calibrate. Um, you'll hit continue calibration, and then you simply touch and hold on the red pluses. There's a few things to go through. This will calibrate it to your finger specifically so that you can have accurate touching when you're working with the, the touch screen on the welder. You can then test the calibration. You can touch in various places to make sure that it's accurate. And then hit complete. You're back to the main settings, the main screen. Now back in the settings tab, we can go to gas. Um, we can adjust our pre-flow and our post-flow delay. I generally like having our pre-flow on medium and our post-flow on medium. Now if you feel like you want more argon coverage, you can change both of them to long. You will just go through argon a little bit faster. Um, we can update our argon pressure. This will clear the line of argon and then it will show us an accurate reading with our regulator here. It will show us an accurate reading of what our pressure is at. Um, the timing tab um, just changes some basic settings. This is something that you really will not uh, work with. Um, this is more of an advanced feature. But you can actually change the timing of, of when the welder performs. We recommend you keep everything as it was um, at the factory settings so that you don't have any inconsistencies and you have uh, very accurate welds. And then system um, tab is the last tab. Um, is uh, restore all default and then the clear all memory button will clear all of the saved settings that you have put into the welder. But again, restore all defaults is kind of your go-to button for restoring everything with the welder and then you can get back to square one with the welder.